Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here again. Um, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> yesterday I had to go to physical therapist for the shoulder thing. And uh, I stopped off at one of the stores there in town, Murdoch's. And we have made history yesterday. I bought, the first time in three years, primers. Not only are they primers, but they're not something useless to me. These are matched large pistol primers. Granted, I don't need match. These are federal premium gold metal primers. I don't need match for cowboy loads. And the wind just blew my door open. Stand by. Anyway, so our storm has finally gotten here. She has been snowing all day, and every once in a while it stopped, but like just for 15, 20 minutes, and it's snowing again. Sometimes it's big flakes, sometimes small flakes. One thing about it is just wet. It's really sloppy, miserable stuff. But anyway, we got to sit through. We got to sit this one out. So back to the primers. They only let me buy 200, two boxes. But, uh, you know, I was on the way to the physical therapist, okay? <laughs> if I was on the way to the mental therapist, this would have cured me. So cool, man. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, this primer thing kind of goes away because it's kind of standing in our way a little bit with our comparison thing because I want to load up some 5090s and some 4590s and kind of compare some velocities with weights of bullets and stuff uh, so we can kind of see the difference, you know. But uh, welcome sight. Anyway. Uh, what I'm going to work on a little bit here. I was working on that hat earlier. Every once in a while, I got to get away from that hat. It's just, it's going to be a, it's going to be a pain. Um, but it's coming along. I sit and mess with it a little bit, and I fix one problem. And then I go and I'm on another one, and I got another problem. So I decided to get away from that. And I've got some, I got some walnut. Let's see what's this. This is rosewood. Remember I was telling you, here's some, that looks like curly maple. Remember I was telling you that I was going to make a uh, knife bag, and it's going to have uh, three knives in it. It's just going to be a small pouch to, you know, clip to your belt or put in your pack. And it's going to have three knives in it. It's going to have uh, three Hudson, these ones here, Hudson Bay, uh, Russell, Green River knives. I don't know where I got Hudson Bay. Anyway, the Green River knives, and I got three of them that I planned. This one is the Dadley, and then I was going to put one of the Skinners, the curved buffalo Skinners, and then the one of the butcher knives. So there'll be a small pouch about this, well, about this big, kind of like the old buffalo hunters used to have their butcher bags, you know, and it, it was a wood block, and it had slits in it, and it had a few... Uh, knives and and probably a sharpener one of them steels and it was a little kit that they threw on their horse or whatever well I'm making kind of the same thing it's it's going to be a little kit that you can put in your pack or you can put it in your camp gear you're going to hook it to your belt um, when you're hunting if you knock something down you got everything you can you got everything you need to take it completely apart in the field a lot of times we don't want to do that, but you'll have everything there. And then when you get home, you have your pouch and it'll have all the, pretty much all the knives in there. You'll need to take apart that critter. So anyway, I'm going to work on that today. I, I got the blades in the mail and uh, I'm just using blades you know, made by Russell uh, in Green River Works. They are made in the USA, however. And uh, I'm going to, like I say, I've got logwood, I got rosewood. I've got a couple different kinds of woods here and some curly maple. So I'm going to start working on these. So grab a cup of coffee and stay with me for a little while and uh, help me put some handles on some knives. Anyway, I decided to go with curly maple. Um, these three are going to be a set, and I have enough curly maple from scraps and stuff. <laughs> I got scraps from gun stalks laying everywhere that I cut off. So I want to make them out of something that all three of them would be the same. 
So I have the most of curly maple, so that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace this on to the, to the wood. To figure out about on where I want it to be on the metal. Let's mark that. So I can put the other one in the same place. Now, so this one has three rivets. Cool. And I gotta do the other one. So same thing. Mark where I put my marks on there. Man, I tell you the wind's coming in. I don't know if you guys can hear it on that camera. Cool. Now I can trim a lot of this excess off. And, uh, and we can drill the holes. These, uh, man, a little saw. You know, I could probably do this with on the. I've got a scroll saw. But you know what? It doesn't take that long to do it by hand. <laughs> and then it's done by hand, and not machine. So, I kind of, there's part of that, there's a part of that that I enjoy doing stuff by hand. Now, the lines on there, I'm just going to make a rough cut on the outside of that line because the sandpaper will do the rest, you know. Yeah. There we go. Whoops. Pink. <laughs> okay. Now let's work on this side now. Yeah. Um, curly maple's really... I, been using curly maple for, I don't think I've built, I've only built one rifle that had a walnut stock. Uh, the walnut's okay, but it's really dense and it machines well, so it's a good wood if you're machining some of the stuff out of it, but uh, I really like working this curly maple, and uh, if you get a good piece, a curly maple, it's really pretty when it gets stained out. So, like I say, I want all three of these knives kind of look the same. It's a kit. So, it's going to be a pretty cool, I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. Done. Yeah, this, I'm not doing a very good job with this carbon saw. But, I haven't gone inside the line yet, so I guess I'm doing all right. All right, I'll cut these out here and I'll get back with you. Get you a cup of coffee and uh, or warm up the one you already got. Then we'll get this down and we'll we gotta make some little recesses in here for the rivets. We'll get it riveted on and that's all we gotta do is sand it down and stain it. It's really not a lot of work to put these on. So I drill these. And now what I want to do is countersink them because I'm gonna take some of this wood off. I, I don't really want a handle to be that thick. So, you know how I did that, I drilled the holes that we marked, and they come out pretty dang close. And then what I'm going to do now is countersink them so that you can see they'll sit. They're kind of tight, which is the way you want them, so they really sit right. So they'll sit down, they're recessed in there, so when I sand it down, it'll sand it down flush with the rivets. So, I'm going to go ahead and set this one up. I've been doing this kind of by eyeball. Um, I mean, if you're a machinist, which I consider myself one, you could do it. And I'm having a great day. You can do it a little bit more precise, but it's not really that necessary. So what we're doing lining these up like I say I'm kind of doing it by eye because it's coming up plenty close enough so I just put that in once I get them centered 
Then I just move it down the line here and put all the holes on. So I'll go ahead and get these in and then we'll be able to mount these. All right, so I got these on here. And like I say, these are roughed in. And uh, I can push, the, push those rivets down. So they're in there. And then they have another side to the rivet. Oops. We're on one side on here. Hold on a minute. I need to turn this one. Got one half of the rivet in. I don't have it riveted in. Because I want to get this closer to size before I really commit to it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it too. I'm gonna epoxy it. But I want to get it closer to size and shaped, and then I'll go ahead and glue it up. Then I've got to cut down that it won't take I can put it on my belt sander, but I've got to cut down that this won't take too too long to get it. And we'll get it right on down. And as soon as it gets to the metal, then we'll get a finer deal and uh, get the metal finer. And uh, then we'll shape it a little bit, round it a little bit. Um, and take the, once it's glued on, I'll take some of the surface off. Okay. I don't know where that was when it ran batteries low. But anyway, I'm working on this. And, uh, Once I get this side down and the other side down and such and such, and like I say, then I can shape it. These handles on these were just pretty much block handles, but I'll make it thinner so it fits the hand around this edge here so it doesn't cut your hand. Anyway, this is going to be pretty much the rest of the evening just making this. So anyway. All I got for you this morning, uh, or this afternoon, we'll start on this tomorrow morning. Um, I got three of these to build and stain, and then I got to do the leather. And once I get them built, even though they're not finished stained, then I can make my sizes uh, for the little leather pouch that I'm going to build. I think it'll be a really cool set. So, Anyway, stick with me and see how it turns out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.